Hey everyone, this is Dhruvin and I am come up with another new problem statement index which is how can we find and remove the last occurrence from a string using dex. Let's say for an example here I have this type of URL structure available. Now what I wanted to do here is I just wanted to remove the last part after the slash from this particular string. So how can I do that? right so basically i wanted to perform this operation using dex in power query it is very easy but in dex how can i do that i am going to explain this thing in detail during this session so now let's get started so here I am on my machine and I have a data source like this where I have title column and URL column and the full URL is looking like this. Now what I wanted to do here is I just wanted to remove the last occurrence from this particular string after the slash right. So how can we do that? Now let me explain you that thing over here right. So let's say for an example what is the basic logic here. So first of all we need to find out the length of this particular string right. So whatever the length I would find from this particular string I will store in one column. Now I just wanted to calculate the number of slash available into the string right. So how can I do that. So first of all what we will do is we will just remove the slash from this entire string and keep all the characters into straight position. So whatever the length I would find from here that would be without slash length right then I will be subtract the entire length from the given replaced length and at last I will find out the position from where I wanted to replace the last character. The very first step is we need to find out the length of this URL right. So in order to find the length of this URL we just need to use a dex formula len right. So I am just using len function for this to find out the length for this particular URL. So this will give the total length of this particular string right. So this will looking like this. So the total length for this particular string is 44 right and it is given the total length for all the strings right. Now in the second step. I wanted to find out how many slashes are there into this particular URL. So what I will do here is I will just write a formula. I will just use a substitute function where I am replacing slash with quote right meaning it will just straight the entire string right and give us the length of the string without slash right. So at this moment I am finding 38 length over here right now what does it mean that uh, how many slash are there at this moment for this particular string 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 slashes are there right so I am finding without slash length as 38 right so how many slash would be there it would be 6 right so we are subtracting total length minus length without slash so I am getting number as 6 over here right so that is how I will find that from entire string there are total 6 slash are there and now what I want to do here is I wanted to remove the values after last slash right so basically I wanted to identify what is the position of the last slash for this particular one the last slash is available at the 6 occurrence right for this particular URL last slash is at the 7th position right so that is how I will know that what is the last occurrence for this particular slash into the string right so what I will do is so I will just replace that slash with that the rate right so I will do like this I will just use the last slash with at the rate right so in order to do that what I need to do here is I just need to use the formula like this I will use substitute function in which I will use the URL column I will replace slash with at the rate right and what is the position for that occurrence that is length of URL that we find in, in the first column minus length of URL without slash right that is something that we have already 
explain into this column second column right so that is how I will find out a string like that right and at last what we are going to do here is once we get this string we are just finding the position of the at the rate right so we will just use find function and we are finding at the rate at the rate uh, we need to find out from this particular column meaning the entire formula of here right and we just need to use minus one because we, here we are getting the index position of this particular at the rate but we need the character before at the rate so we just need to use minus one here right and we need to use left function so left of URL we wanted to find out right so what it will do is it will uh, let's say for this particular find function whatever the index that we find we are passing here so it will know how many characters from the left I need to take here right so it will use the formula like this and at last the final URL will be looking like this so let me just add final URL over here let me just add just besides the URL so you can see that last occurrence after slash has been removed successfully here right isn't that amazing now you just need to focus on this final URL right because all the other things are only for the explanation purpose so I'm just keeping that open here you can just copy that and use that in your DEX report right also one important thing I'm going to provide this DEX file to my github account so you can check there and use it for your practice I think I covered almost everything so basically to summarize everything we have used the different function here one is length function one is substitute function third is find function and fourth is left function right so by using by combining all of these functions we are able to have the desired result that we wanted to have here so if you have any question related to this topic you can add your questions in the comment section if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel stay tuned with me on facebook linkedin twitter and podcast if you wish to listen different podcasts from my channel click on this link it will be redirecting you to this page here you can de listen different podcast from this platform you can listen my podcast on apple podcast google podcast or spotify from here right one more important thing if you wish to receive the daily notification from my whatsapp number if you wish to receive the daily notification on your whatsapp regarding my new video just click on this link it will be redirecting you to this form fill the form and you will be receiving daily notification on your whatsapp number stay connected with me have a great day goodbye